All right, guys, so I just wanted to give you a really quick, uh, just kind of brief uh, turn explanation to show you what it might feel like to play this game, because I feel like it's, it's so hard to be able to tell when you're watching videos, like how it plays and if you're actually gonna enjoy it. So this is really what it feels like. But you have to understand that this game is like, it's super agonizing to try to figure out what exactly you need, you need to do. And what you can't see is how limited the resources are. Um, there are so many different um, ways to get resources, but you have to, you have to manage it super well in order to be able to do everything. Money is really tight in this game, so you're gonna have to take loans, uh, which means you're gonna go down on this track a little bit, but it's super easy to make up for. Um, and you know, over here, this is where you basically pay for everything. I only have a couple set up just in, as an example, but um, it's super tight and super satisfying when everything finally comes together, when you get enough money, when you have the right resources. That's what you're not seeing is how tight this game really is. But this game plays super fast, and this is the reason. Because every turn you're gonna take two actions and for every action you're gonna use a card. Okay, you're gonna have location cards and industry cards and in Birmingham there's some wild cards which really add a new dynamic to this game that Lancashire just doesn't have. Um, so these are, these are awesome. And each one of these cards is just stylized so beautifully. I mean, I love that, look at that. I don't, you can't really get the full effect but I mean, that, those cards are insane. Um, that's, that's your money's worth right there. But they're just beautiful to just look at. Sometimes you even forget you're playing. You just get lost in these cards. No, that's that's a little dramatic. But sometimes, I mean, these, I mean, these cards are just beautiful. They're amazing. So basically, you're gonna have a hand of um, eight cards, and you're gonna play two, and then draw back up to eight, and you're gonna go through the deck twice, and that's the entire game. The first time you go through, it's gonna be the canal, which is all those blue lines you see, like all these, all these blue lines, and then the railroad phase is gonna be where you can uh, uh, you build on these brown brown lines. So. So basically, in the first phase of the game, um, what you would do is you would take cards and you, you every time you do an action, you play a card. So I'm looking at my huge hand, I have eight cards, remember, but it makes so much sense what you need to do. And you're gonna see that you have cards that you know you wanna get rid of like almost immediately because you just they're just way, you know, if you're building over here in Birmingham and you have a, uh, you know, you have a card in uh, Wolverhampton, you're not gonna wanna build over here probably, I mean, depending on your strategy, but you're probably gonna wanna stay, you know, a little more, um, just consolidated over here. So you're gonna you're gonna see cards and you're gonna be like, okay, I can use those as just free actions, just get rid of those. Sometimes you'll have double cards, you can get rid of those. But most of the time you're gonna know like, okay, this is what I need to do, this is how I need to do it, but it's gonna be super hard and it's gonna be super satisfying when it pays off. So basically if you play a location card, you can play an industry tile in that location, uh, depending on if you can pay for it. So if I played a Coventry, I could build any one of these industries here. Um, so that's that, and then if I have an industry card, that's a little harder because I can build, this is iron, so I could build an iron um, in Birmingham, but I have to be connected um, to another place that I, that I already have an industry in. So if I built in Coventry the first turn, and then I built a link connecting it, I could then build this here in Birmingham. And basically you're gonna come over here to your board with this of all the industries and all the costs and all the rewards. So if I wanted to build an iron, uh, let's say I wanted to build an iron in Birmingham to start, um, I could play this this iron industry tile um, or this iron industry card as long as I was connected to it. So when I place it, I would have to pay this right here. It's five bucks and a coal, okay? So you'd have to get coal from somewhere on the board. And if your opponent is the only one with coal on the board, um, that is going to, you're gonna have to use their coal, whoever's closest. That's what's awesome about this game. So you can force your opponent, you know, if you build around their stuff, or you're the only one with a ton of coal, they're gonna have to use that coal in order to be able to build their stuff, okay? So it's super satisfying when they have to do that. So when I place this, I'm gonna end up playing, or placing four iron onto it, okay? And now, since I'm the only iron on the board, if anybody wants to take iron, they have to take it from this tile, okay? So um, let's say the next turn I had a link here, okay? And it, it doesn't matter because actually I would play a location card in Coventry, so I could play anywhere, it wouldn't matter. Um, but the only, yeah, so, so I'll tell you this. Okay, so basically if I took this guy, this would cost me seven bucks, okay? And you have to build from level one up, okay? I just, I just didn't set everything up, but if I wanted to build this level two, I would already have to have this um, either developed, which means just taking it off, um, or, and when you develop, you get iron each time you develop, so you have to take them from the board as well, which is good because if I have all these iron here and I want to develop like three, or I think, I forgot how many you can develop each time, but if, let's say I develop, I think it's two, up to two. You would take two iron from here, and then if I did it again, I'd take two iron from here. I would flip this, because once you run out of resources on it, then you flip it, and I would get three on the income, 
I would get, I would end up getting three victory points. And uh, if I had a link connecting to this, like on here, I would end up getting another victory point um, at the end. So, so yeah, basically you want to try to use all the resources on those things because you get points. So this, uh, this coal, I would only have to pay seven bucks. And if I played the Coventry card, I would end up placing it right there and then doing this. Um, I would probably end up playing the coal first because you need coal in order to get this uh, this iron. You see, the iron you you need a you need a uh, sorry I can't get over there. You need a coal. Okay, so basically you you play this this play this guy on your next turn. Um, you try to build one of these because um, you could do two actions every turn or this turn you could build one of these and then the next turn you would build an iron right here and then you would take a coal, uh, one of the coals from here because you're connected because you have to be connected in order to transport coal. Uh, iron can be transported from anywhere, it doesn't matter. But then you would basically place four iron on this this guy, and then when um, when somebody needs iron, they're gonna take iron from there. So so yeah, that's that's basically what a turn feels like. And you just keep you keep doing things like that. Um, different things cost a lot. So these these different industries right here, um, this is gonna cost 17 bucks in a in an iron, which is 17 is a lot of money in this game. It's really hard to get, but once you get it, you go up five on the income track and you get 10 victory points. And it's cool because you cannot develop this card. You can't just get rid of it. You actually have to use it. These you can develop. You can develop develop this, you can develop these beer, you can develop these crates. Um, super easy, you just say I'm developing, you play a card and then you take up to two. Like so, I, And you start off with several tiles stacked on each one I believe, uh, for, for some of them. So you have to just plan perfectly. You're like, so, so some of the strategy would be like, Okay, if you had a bunch of iron on here, you could develop a lot at the beginning and um, get, get. so if I develop like these lower ones, I could get to the higher ones so I could build those in the next next uh, couple turns. But if I develop early, the ones that aren't very valuable, then I can take iron from my own things. I can flip these, get a bunch of quick victory points and uh, income track bonuses. And I mean, that's, that's a whole strategy right there. Uh, I don't want to give too much away because you got to figure it out for yourself. But just know that... Every time you do something in this game, it's super satisfying and it's very, very tight. Money's tight. Resources are super tight. Uh, you're going to end up using some of your opponent's resources. You're going to end up doing some things you don't want to do. You're going to have some regrets, but that's life, right? Um, but this game, I'm telling you, look, we like we like a bit of a meatier game and we don't, um, we don't settle for, you know, games that just don't present a lot of strategy, okay? Even even like light games like Patchwork has a ton of strategy in it and I'm down to play it. But this is a meaty, meaty game, man. This is a satisfying, this game is savory. I wanna take a bite, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to take a bite when you play this game. Um, for some reason I started filming myself, filming myself, that was kinda of weird. But um, just understand that everything, the art, the decisions, the player interaction, how players interact in this game with, with having to take each other's resources and having to, um, you know, when they're desperate for something, they have to take your resources first. And, you know, uh, even going to this market where you can get extra coal and iron if there's none left, you can, uh, you have to be connected to this guy or something over here. And then that allows you to get some beer. And beer is helpful in this game um, for certain things that you, uh, let me see. When you, when you sell these guys, you have to get rid of a beer. So you have to take a beer from somewhere on the board. Uh, it's just amazing and it's not too heavy. I'm telling you it might look heavy, but it really is not too heavy once you get the hang of it and you really can uh, You know wrap your head around what's going on and how the game actually plays this game plays so So this thing is silky silky smooth if you're thinking about getting this game get it I, I, I can almost guarantee that you will not regret it. I know I didn't regret it um, and I was okay with Lancashire again It was okay, but this experience is so much better. I'm never getting rid of this game and that's all I have to say about that really. But um, yeah, this kind of went on for a while, but yeah, that's basically how it goes. Um, it's an incredible game, uh, everything about it. So I, I, I'd say pull the trigger immediately, get it, get the game, um, cash out, empty the bank. Don't empty the bank, that's a bad, that's always a bad choice. But definitely, definitely use part of that next paycheck on this game, okay? So that's it, definitely get the game, later.